So it's been officially 70 days since I was locked away uh, due to quarantine, due to uh, the pandemic uh, that is currently going on. And here are the three valuable lessons I learned during that whole process. Now guys, just a little bit of an intro for those of you who are new to the channel. My name is Jaime and I'm an agency owner. I own a social media marketing agency helping e-commerce clients scale to seven and eight figures. I'm currently based in Spain. Pretty much for the past 70 days, we've been on national lockdown, uh, national quarantine. And so we haven't really been allowed to leave our homes. Now we're slowly coming out of that and we're allowed to leave our homes. And in this video, if you guys are a subscriber of this channel, it's gonna be a bit of a different one because I'm not gonna be talking about social media marketing agency per se. It's not gonna be this very actionable, tangible hack or tactic. I'm gonna be talking more about personal development about entrepreneurship, about SMA, and really just bringing everything together because I want to share with you guys the three lessons I learned during this whole process during this very you know weird time that we got to live. I'm sure a lot of you watching right now uh, are still you know in quarantine and you guys haven't really come out of that. But yeah, all in all, it's, it's been a bit of a weird time, right? But I've also had the time to really reflect, uh, in, you know, for the past few days uh, and really over the, the whole quarantine because I've had a lot of time for myself and I thought sharing my perspective and what I've gone through and what I've learned and really the change and shift that I've seen in my you know character perspective um in, in general during this uh, 70 days i want to share that with you guys because i think that might be of a lot of value to you guys so without further ado let's get right into it Now, the first thing is blessings. I just realized how blessed we are. If, if you're watching this video and if you're looking into online business, if you're looking into to start a social media marketing agency, or if you already have a, uh, an online business or a social media marketing agency that is running, that is generating money, right? We are honestly just so blessed to have that, right? Obviously, my prayers are with those affected during this at times, not only those who lost their lives, but also those who lost their jobs, uh, their income, and are really just struggling financially. And really knowing that, just the, the sheer amount of, of people that, that are going through that, and knowing that with an online business, you don't have to rely on a physical location or a corporate business or, or anything like that. You know, knowing that it has honestly brought like just a new level of awareness to the blessings and just how blessed we are to to have this opportunity to be able to start a business online pretty much with zero dollars to your name. And I've already explained how you can start a social media marketing agency with uh, zero dollars literally to your name on, on this video. If you guys want to check it out uh, after this video, but you know you can start an online business with zero dollars to your name, right? And you can scale that to 10k month, to 20k month, 30k month, right? And just the insane blessings and the insane opportunity that that is that that is out there, and the fact that we don't rely on a physical location, and the fact that even during this worldwide pandemic and just this worldwide crisis, the social media marketing agency space and a lot of online business are still thriving we should be very blessed for that and during the past few weeks and, and during my my uh, quarantine time i've just had this new level of awareness uh, towards that and i've just been incredibly grateful to be honest with you guys so that's really the first thing that i realized just the blessings that we have uh, and the second point on that uh, on that aspect of the blessings is the fact that i'm also incredibly grateful to know that my income is also diversified and that's another thing that i've come to realize during this worldwide pandemic the fact that you know there's so many people that just rely on one single source of income right and that is very very dangerous you are in a position where you are relying on this to work to literally you know keep your float right and it's just you know being in that situation is just very stressful and honestly i just can't imagine how stressful it can be for for family to be in that situation where you need to have this source of income coming in and if not it's going to be quite hard to survive right and so i'm incredibly blessed as well to to know that my income is diversified and, and that's one of the things that i recommend you guys do uh, as, as you scale right i really believe that it's, it's very important to at first have one single focus so for example if you if, if you're going to do sma get that to you know 10k 20k right and then focus on on diversifying your income but i'm extremely you know grateful to have social media marketing agency to have my co uh, consulting and coaching services to also have you know affiliate and sponsorships which is really my, my third uh, source of income so that is that for blessings and on to point number two the second point is productivity now just to prelude to this point uh when quarantine happened and when i saw this pandemic kind of you know rise i basically saw it as an opportunity because in times of crisis, there's a lot of people that lose and there's a lot of people that win, right? And I knew that I wanted to be on the winning side, okay? And I also knew that in times of crisis, there's a lot of opportunity. And by the way, I don't want to sound like this person who's trying to capitalize on the crisis. That is really not it. Uh, but I'm just saying, you know, in times of crisis, there's going to be a ton of opportunity, right? And so I wanted to be on the winning side and I just knew I was going to sprint as hard as I could, as fast as I could, and I was gonna endure as, as long as my body kept on going, right? And that, that was kind of my mindset going into uh, quarantine. And you know, that, that's me being completely transparent to you guys, uh, because I, you know, I saw a lot of people saying, you know, isolation equals education, but how many of, of you or, or how many of, you know, of the people that said that actually carried through, right? And um, what I would say on, on the opportunity side of things is, you know, I truly believe that there's a lot of people that say, oh, if you miss an opportunity, there's going to be a ton of other opportunities, right? Quite frankly, I don't really subscribe to that thought. I truly believe that there's going to be a few opportunities in your life 
that you are gonna have to take. You're gonna have to be in a position where you can take them and make the most out of them, right? So even just looking at a few months ago, um, you know, of my life, like I've seen a lot of opportunities come. And one of the things that I attribute my success as of late uh, to is the fact that I've been able to see the opportunities and just throw myself into them more than as fast as I could, right? For example, a great example was TikTok. I saw TikTok coming up. I saw it as a great opportunity to build a personal brand and to leverage that and, you know, build other platforms as well. I, I just went for it and I committed to uploading twice a day. And I just did that for, I think it was like, three months, you know, 60 plus days of uploading every single day, twice a day. And here we are, I've built my uh, TikTok profile to 200K. I don't say that to brag, I just say that so that you guys can understand that opportunities come and go, right? Because if you're going to start TikTok now, it's definitely harder to do it now than it was five months, six months ago to grow a profile, okay? So it's these little decisions in life that you make. I knew, for example, that when I started quarantine, I knew that this was going to be a great opportunity to, again, double down my personal brand, right? Because there's gonna be a lot of people uh, watching at home. Um, and if I can add value to those people, then great, right? And so I started uploading five times a, a week on, on YouTube, right? Then I hit 10K on YouTube. Um, and, uh, and you know, same with my agency. I brought in three new clients. I brought in three new hires uh, for my agency uh, because I also knew that this was gonna be a, a time of great prosperity for a lot of e-commerce clients. So I did the same, right? Uh, and so I don't say this to brag. I don't say this stuff to brag, okay? And if you guys are a subscriber to my channel, you guys know that that's not really the vibe that I, I convey in this channel. Um, I'm just saying this so that you guys understand that there's gonna be certain opportunities in life that you're gonna have to take. And when I say take, I say commit 100%, right? And just go full in. And that's where, you know, I see a lot of people make the mistake of they commit, but not really, right? It's, it's this half-ass effort where they're putting in 50%, 60%, they don't really know why they're doing what they're doing. Uh, you know, they'll do it today. Maybe, maybe tomorrow they won't commit. Act with urgency. Act like there's not an abundance of opportunities. You are only going to get a limited amount of opportunities in your life. And if you don't act with urgency, if you don't go full into it and you give it your 100%, then that's going to be an opportunity wasted. The final thing that I will say on productivity is I just realized how much stuff you can get done if you just limit a lot of the distractions that we have on a daily basis. For some, it might not be distractions. It could just be, you know, commute or that you're spending, you know, an hour or two hours a day uh, just commuting, right? Uh, for some, it could be, you know, getting that coffee with, I don't know, employees or, you know, colleagues or, you know, uh, flatmates or whatever it is, right? Um, but we have so many distractions every single day and many of those are healthy, right? I don't want you guys to think that it's all about being productive and, you know, getting stuff done, right? It's really not. But there's a lot of things that we could cut from our life that would generally lead to a much higher happier and fulfilled life. I'm talking about all those little inefficiencies that we do every single day that waste a lot of time in the end. Concept that I refer to as death by a thousand cuts. I made a video on this. Here is that video. You guys can watch it after this video. But you know, I just realized how much you can actually get done if you don't have as many distractions and little things uh, during your day uh, that can distract you from what you're actually trying to achieve. So that is the second thing, which is productivity. Now onto the third thing. The third thing is mental health. And this is a topic that I've been digging into a bit more and, and just thinking about as of late. And it's one that contrasts with what I just spoke about, which is productivity. But what I can tell you guys is for those first 40 days that I was talking to, uh, to you guys about, I was just going hard and giving in my all. I definitely took a toll in terms of my energy levels and a few other aspects of my life. And yeah, I just realized that I wasn't doing enough for my mental well-being. I wasn't working out enough. I wasn't sleeping enough. It got to a point where nights almost felt like a long nap because I was just like, I would go to bed and now I would just get back straight into it, working on the stuff that really makes me passionate. But you really need to find a good balance in your life where your mental health is a priority um, and also where, you're, where you have time to disconnect because that's another trap that, that I fell into where I was like too stuck in the trenches, right? To actually see the bigger picture, to almost give myself enough credit for what I built uh, during this past you know 70 days and also to give me more clarity as to where I'm going to, right? Because oftentimes you can get stuck in the trenches and, and not think bigger picture and that is honestly quite dangerous. So what I'll tell you guys is make sure that you have that balance. At the same time, I do believe that you there's gonna be periods of the year or maybe your life that you have to push a bit harder, right? That you have to sacrifice a few things uh, here and there, make just massive progress in one single area of your life. So those are really the three things that I learned during my 70 day uh, quarantine and lockdown. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you found them more value, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. YouTube just locks when that thing turns blue, so I'd really appreciate it. Also, leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to SMA with a specific focus on sales, outreach, and e-commerce. And lastly, if you haven't checked out my free private mentor community on Facebook, The Client Closers, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency and level up in life. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. As always, guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace.